Max Crosby was the highest rated defender by PFF last week. The Raiders defense as a whole played really well against the Chargers. And if you don't believe me, then let's take a look at the film. And while I pull up this film, make sure to like the video and subscribe. If you do enjoy the content, it helps me out so much. And now, let's get into the film room. Max Crosby, bro, he is a straight up menace. Left side of the screen right here. He's gonna do a great job of just rushing in a straight line down the field. As soon as we get contact right here, I'm gonna put my hands on Trey Pipkins, not to try to chop those arms away from him, but to maintain distance so that he doesn't suck me in close to his chest. And this allows me to boom, dip right there, get that arm under that right, right armpit of Trey Pipkins so that he can just rush in a straight line again to Justin Herbert. Gets the ball, gets the sack. That is a ball sack on the very first drive of the game. And just a beautiful rush by Max Crosby on Trey Pipkins right here. Boom. Beat him so quickly. And then on the left side, look at Tyree Wilson working on Rashawn Slater. That looks kind of bad. I'm really thankful that Rashawn Slater is not injured on this play because Tyree Wilson is pushing Rashawn Slater back while he's being bent by Justin Herbert because Max Crosby came in quickly and got the ball out. It ended up not even mattering because David Long Jr. had a penalty on this play, kept the Chargers drive alive. Now the Chargers running game in this one was not good at all. We can see why right here. They're gonna pull the left guard Zion Johnson and the tight end right here to this side. We're gonna have Donald Parham coming in right here. What we're trying to create with this is we're trying to create a bunch of traffic in the middle of the field. That's why we have this hole. We're trying to attract these Raiders defenders to go here. They don't bite because they watch the film and they know it's just going to create a bunch of traffic for no reason because this play is going to this side and Zion Johnson against Isaac Rochelle right here. This is the block that needs to be picked up, initiate contact, and he just swipes him away. And now Isaac Rochelle one-on-one -on -one against Isaiah Spiller makes the tackle, and then also Divine Diablo is right there because he didn't get sucked up in this gap because that's what the Chargers wanted, and he just stayed disciplined, went towards the outside. This is just good run defense by the Raiders, and uh, Zion Johnson couldn't pick up that block. And again, another example of why this run game was just about non-existent. John Jenkins working on Will Clapp, the backup center. Boom, pushing him all the way towards the backfield. Now, look at Max Crosby as soon as this play gets snapped. You're on Rashawn Slater, the Chargers' best offensive lineman. Swipe him away so quickly. Now we got both of these guys disrupting the play, and Isaiah Spiller, is just, he's just got no shot right here. And then also, look at Trayvon Merrig blitzing on this play. He goes towards the outside. If he went towards this gap right here, there would have been literally nothing at all for Isaiah Spiller to pick up right here. Again, they're just struggling to block these guys. This is Jerry Tillery. He's just going to push Jamari Sawyer all the way back into the backfield right here. Tyree Wilson, the rookie for the Raiders, is just going to push back Donald Parham. And Amik Robertson just runs right by Darius Davis. These are three guys that are now in the backfield, basically. And Joshua Kelly has got to make something happen. Amik Robertson gets to him first. And then it's a... Uh, TFL because all of these guys are right here and also let me check out this linebacker because Will Clapp goes from a double team right here on Jerry Tillery he doesn't even touch him and then he goes to the second level doesn't pick up either Divine Diablo or this uh, linebacker number 41 just gets nothing right here I mean this is bad blocking but also the Raiders they're playing fast and they're playing physical this is good defense but also Chargers offensive line and their blockers, they need to do better. Now check out this stunt move. I know the Raiders watch film because we saw this in week one when I reviewed the film. Zion Johnson let up that pressure because of the stunt move. We got Bilal Nichols and Adam Butler. Bilal Nichols just going to rush right towards the inside, take away the left guard and the center. And then we're going to have Adam Butler swing out wide to take up that gap that was left. Zion Johnson does a pretty good job of keeping his head on a swivel and getting his body on this man right here, giving Justin Herbert a little bit of time. But also, let's take this back because we got Rashawn Slater on Malcolm Kuntz. Malcolm Kuntz does a good job of just swiping those arms down boom getting right past him dipping his way towards justin herbert i think he hits him on this play he does as he throws that ball way over the head of josh palmer and also max crosby he had more pressures than the entire raiders defensive line combined he had 27 and i think everyone else combined had 25 but on this play they're finally doing something to work against him donald parham max crosby on this really wide nine rushing 
and Donald Parham pushes him out even further, gives Justin Herbert a ton of time because Max Crosby is, he's just got no chance to rush on Justin Herbert on this play. Still, he gets hit though. I mean, three things on this one. So first of all, let's watch for Sean Slater. He's just going to swipe away this rookie defensive lineman and he's got to pick up this second level linebacker. This is Luke Masterson. Boom, swipes him away. Really quick shiftiness by the linebacker right there where Sean Slater was not expecting it. Man, he's got to get his hands on him better in the second level, but also that's just a really good play by that linebacker. So, you know, take take it, take that what you will, but also let's look at Trey Pipkins now on this side. He's just going to let Max Crosby go and then push to the second level, try to pick up Robert Spillane. He doesn't get there in time. That's why these two linebackers converge. And also big John Jenkins right here doing a good job against backup center Will Clapp, not allowing any space, pushing him back. And then just moving his way towards the running back. So all of these guys collapse. That is how you take what the Chargers would normally get in like a seven or eight yard chunk and just make it like one or two yards. Plays like this kill drives. And Rashawn Slater, normally he's going to pick up a, a block like that. He did not expect Luke Masterson to be that quick. And I'm telling you, man, I, I think Luke Masterson is a dude. Okay, as a Chargers fan, what are we doing on this play? We have three tight ends right here. Trey McKitty made the team because he's a blocking tight end, right? Check out him against Malcolm Koontz. This is literally like a one-on-one. -on -one. Donald Parham just gets a hand on him. Now he's trying to pick up a Meek Robertson. Gerald Everett is also just looking this way. And then he's going to pick up the cornerback on this side. But look, Trey McKitty doesn't get the block, just gets thrown away. So this is a TFL. Josh Kelly actually is able to make that man miss, but Max Crosby coming from the other side gets a big hit on Joshua Kelly to not allow anything on this play. I want to see better blocking from my tight ends, but also look at how freaking good Max Crosby is, man. On Trey Pipkins from the other side of the field, he should not be involved in this play. Swipes away so easily and then works between the guard and the tackle and still is so resilient and just gets all the way down the field. This man is... This man's a dog. Oh my gosh. Good protection on this play. Justin Herbert has time. Fake handoff to Isaiah Spiller. And then you look down the field, try to fit this thing in there, lasers it past Trayvon Merrig. But Marcus Peters, you can see, gets his hands on it. So Quentin Johnson has no shot at getting that ball. Would have been a really good pass, really good ball placement by Justin Herbert. But as you can see, it's just as good of defense as you can get with Marcus Peters. If you're Quentin Johnson, Want to try to fight for that a little bit more but it's kind of tough because of the position that he's in right there marcus peter totally has inside leverage so you don't want to you know have pass interference really quentin johnson can't do much this is that same move max crosby he's gonna get chipped by gerald everett as you can see right here on this play but doesn't disrupt him at all rushing down the field gets contact right here swipe him away and dip with those arms and you just go straight for the quarterback in a straight line after that and and he's still trying to bring down justin herbert because he's so freaking big and strong but max crosby is an absolute dog check this out in full speed so you can see this is tough to block that's just tough to block he's so big and so strong so fast ah man okay this is why i'm saying the raiders had really good defense against the chargers look at robert spillane and how closely he is playing against donald parham right here he knows that the chargers typically try to get donald parham up the seam when they're in the red zone because he's so tall and he can just jump over and make a catch but you can see he's playing it so tight and he knows he's got the safety help over the top boom trayvon merrick probably should have picked that ball off really good defense by the raiders and you can see robert spillane is the only one that's playing this tight everyone else is in zone but this man he knows that justin herbert is probably trying to get this up the scene to donald parham they watched film they, they just watched film and they played really well because of that max crosby in run defense check him out right here we got three tight ends again he is just gonna cause havoc swipe away trey mckitty touch turf and then you hit jamari sawyer frees up Jerry Tillery, who was being blocked by Jamari Sawyer. And now he's taken out Gerald Everett, Trey McKitty, because he touched turf. And now he's playing from behind on this play. And also Jamari Sawyer, because he freed him up. He freed up Jerry Tillery, that is, because he swiped away and hit Jamari Sawyer in the freaking side. So Jerry Tillery can get that tackle. He ends up missing it because, you know, it's Jerry Tillery. But Max Crosby, 
doing as much as he possibly can on this play. Like, this is... He's just wrecking havoc. This man plays like he's got his hair on fire. He actually ends up getting the tackle, too, on this play. Taking on three freaking blockers and gets the tackle. This, this dude is different. Oh, my gosh, man. Max Crosby on Trey Pipkins right here. Check this out. Whoop! And then you just run towards the running back. Max Crosby in run defense and in the pass rush is just like... He's just insane, man. That's why he was the highest graded player by PFF last week. Highest graded defender, actually. But look at John Jenkins right here. He's going to work on Zion Johnson. Does a really good job of not forfeiting any yardage right here. Also, let me take it back a little bit again because we have Stone Smart in motion towards this side. A little bit of half halfback misdirection as well. But you can see he's trying to pick up Luke Masterson, the linebacker. I'm telling you, Luke Masterson is a dog too. He doesn't get sucked in on this block, stays disciplined, goes towards the outside. John Jenkins is there. Luke Masterson is there. Max Crosby is there. This is what I'm saying. They're playing really good defense. And Rashawn Slater loses his helmet. What the heck? Is that not a penalty? A normal edge rusher on this play would just run straight down the field and try to get pressure. But you can see he notices that he's not being blocked by the tackle and the tackle went towards the second level. So he stops his rush, plants his feet, tries to work on Jamari Sawyer. What is he going to do? Swipe him away like he does every finger, every freaking Chargers offensive lineman gets the tackle. And then also John Jenkins. Good job working on Will Clapp, the backup center. This is why I'm saying there's nowhere to go. Also, the linebacker getting involved because Gerald Everett couldn't pick up the block. This is Robert Spillane. Really good by the Raiders defense again, man. The Chargers need Corey Lindsley back. Okay, here's the interception. We can see the pocket is going to collapse quickly because Max Crosby, Robert Spillane on the blitz, and then I believe this is Tyree Wilson. I can't tell exactly from this angle, but Justin Herbert has to roll out to his right, and he sees Joshua Palmer right here. He thinks he's going to improvise with him right here. He's going up the field, right? That's where he's headed. So Justin Herbert freaking unleashes that thing, but Josh Palmer is staying still, so that's why this ball is way over the head of Joshua Palmer and thrown perfectly into the arms of the safety Trayvon Merrig. Really just not on the same page. Josh Palmer and Justin Herbert, poor communication right there. They're not really improvising well with each other and the Raiders defense is able to capitalize. This is a great play call for the Raiders defense. You can see Max Crosby way out wide, lined up against the tight end. He's going to get chipped, but... It's okay because Adam Butler is running this stunt move, take Jamari Sawyer and run right into the tackle, creates all of this open space for Max Crosby, boom, gets to Justin Herbert easily on the stunt move because the Chargers tackles and tight end, they are so worried about this rush by Max Crosby. He's been torching both Rashawn Slater and Trey Pipkins all game along that outside. You just put him on the inside on a stunt move late in the game and you get a sack. So there you go. Raiders defense, they did play pretty well. They got some dogs out there, man. Luke Masterson, I was impressed with him. Max Crosby, obviously really good as well. If you want to see how well Justin Herbert played and why the Chargers won, you check this video out right here. Thanks for watching.